Heretic's protagonist Corvus doesn't quite pop up in conversation as much as his other FPS brethren do. It's not because he's not a cool guy, I mean he blasted his way through three realms full of monsters. Five if you include the expansion pack and then he even took down Disparal. Anyway, Heretic was by and large just a bit of a Doom clone with a dark fantasy setting. Pretty much all of the weapons were based off the lineup in Doom and functioned almost identically, and about all that Heretic did different in terms of the gameplay was include an inventory system with some nifty items to use. It's also a game that never quite got the mod love that its predecessor did either. There's more Doom mods out there that you can poke a stick at, but mods for Heretic are few and far between. Enter Brutal Heretic RPG, another one of those mods that throws the word brutal in front of something and turns the violent, gore and loud noises up to the next level. And yes, Sunny Jim, this game is violent, gory and loud, there's no arguments there. The RPG element comes from the fact that as you're making kills, you're earning experience points and after a certain amount of kills, you level up, which then increases your maximum health points. As far as I can tell, that's all it changes though, and I don't know if you get more or less XP depending on the enemy type, or if it's just the kind of thing that depends on total kills. Aside from that, it's just a mod that makes everything feel bigger, with weapons sounding punchier, media, and everything having a hell of a lot more oomph. And you know what? It's good. It's pretty damn good. None of the sprites for the original weapons have been changed, I mean they all look the same, but the way in which they fire and fill has been changed drastically. The Elven one fires a lot faster now and with larger looking projectiles, making it more than just a stick with a gem at the end of it. The crossbow's also been given a faster firing rate and feels a lot better when firing as well. Weapons like the Dragon Claw, the Hell Staff, the Phoenix Rod all seem to behave the same, but again like the Elven one, the projectiles when firing feels more impactful just making the weapons a lot more enjoyable to use, with some suitably beefy sound effects as well. In fact, this is pretty much across the board, and the Fire Mace, for instance, now sounds like a goddamn rapid-fire howitzer. It's a little bit hard to overstate how chaotic this game can be at times. When you're taking on a fair few enemies and the screen is covered in blood and body parts, it really does encapsulate everything you expect and want to see in a mod that's got the word brutal thrown in front of it. And it's all been changed around enough from the vanilla game to make it feel fresh. Even the Time Bomb of the Ancient has been turned into a grenade of sorts with the sprite replaced with the fleshette from Hexen, and it's now able to be thrown at enemies. And it all comes together really well, and I think it also looks particularly awesome when you're fighting enemies over water due to the improved sprite work. It's the kind of sprite work that gives modern day indie devs wet dreams, and for good reason. There were a couple of times when my frame rate started to get a little bit choppy though, I did honestly do my best to make this happen just to see how much the engine could handle. But most of the time it seems to run silky smooth with the GZ Doom source board, and it just looks gorgeous as well. Complaining about the difficulty in a brutal mod is like complaining about getting wet when you're taking a shower, I mean it's the kind of thing that's par for the course. What the mod has really excelled at doing is just turning every single enemy type into a complete asshole. Brutal Heretic, as you'd expect, is hard. It's ball-bustingly hard. You'll die over and over and over, but it's almost always going to be your own fault. It's the kind of thing that separates genuine difficulty modes from the artificially difficult difficulty modes. Good examples being the Call of Duty games, where the high difficulty mode just increases the accuracy of enemies and the damage you take, which is something you have no control over or can possibly mitigate. Here's the thing about Heretic though, it's good, but it's not Doom. Every aspect of Doom felt polished and balanced, and you'd expect that to be carried across in Heretic, I mean, it's on the same engine. But I always find a lot of the time when I'm playing Heretic, it seems like enemies just take that little bit longer to die than they should, and I always have to fire like more shots than I feel are necessary. The Gargoyles are a classic example of this, they're basically just trash enemies that you're supposed to mow down. They're tiny little winged pricks that just fly around and throw fireballs at you, and yet they take two shots from the ethereal crossbow. The crossbow basically being the shotgun of the game, and it just feels like one shot too many. And it's the same for most of the enemy roster. The Golems, Undead Warriors, and the goddamn Disciples of Disparal, they all just seem to soak up damage, not to mention they always seem to take the same amount of damage before going down. It's always going to be around the same amount of shots from the standard weapons, and it can detract a bit from the raw power you get from the other brutal themed mods, where quite often the weapon parameters have just been modified to the point where it just feels ludicrous. Heretic was already a really tough game, way more so I think than Doom is, so given that the brutal treatment turns some of the more basic enemies into actual threats, and every enemy now has the ability to mess you up really quickly. Disciples of Disparal are way more mobile now, darting around like mosquitoes to avoid practically everything you throw at them. 
It's kind of annoying in a way actually because they're not really actively avoiding your attacks, they're just randomly shifting all over the place to make them appear to be more intelligent when really it just seems totally randomized. As a result, faster firing weapons like the Dragon Claw are pretty much useless and you need to hit them hard with a weapon like the Crossbow or the Phoenix Rod. Where dragons are now the real deal too, and another good example of this increased difficulty, in the vanilla game they were just these kind of awkward looking things that shuffled around and launched the odd fireball. Now in the brutal mod that fireball does a whole lot of damage, even splash damage, making them a real threat. The homing attack from the nitro golems now moves so quickly and homes to the point that you need to pretty much break line of sight to avoid it, which isn't fun when you're fighting them in large groups either, which happens like 99% of the time. And the Saber Claws now have this leaping attack, making them a real nuisance as well, similar to the Imps and their annoying leaping attack in Brutal Doom. Because it wouldn't be a Brutal mod if an enemy didn't have some kind of annoying melee attack, would it? I could spend this entire video talking about how these kind of attacks just piss me off, but I won't. I'll just say, enough with the goddamn leaping melee attacks. Of course, none of that shit is going to matter if you use the term of power, as regardless of the weapon you're using, everything in your crosshairs is now going to die pretty damn quickly. The term of power just takes your weapons to another level and it turns everything into pretty much death on a stick. Even the Elven Wand becomes absolutely destructive, way more so than it was in the original Heretic. Would have been really cool if the weapons were like this from the get-go, with the tome taking them up a notch even more, but obviously it wouldn't be all that much fun or challenging if you just turned every enemy you see into minced meat within seconds. It's overpowered, it's unbalanced, it's all those kind of things, and I love it. Like all of these kind of mods, Brutal Heretic is at its best when Heretic is at its best. The first episode is arguably the weakest because you only get four weapons and you don't get to take on the entire enemy roster, as the first episode was originally shareware, and I guess Raven Software didn't want to show their hand. But episodes 2 and 3, and I guess 4 and 5 if you're playing the expansion pack, are glorious fun and truly capture that sadistic difficulty of those old school FPS games. Heightened more so by Brutal Heretic RPG, which makes it even more challenging than the original game. It's still the kind of thing that's going to put hair on your chest either way, and at a time where the FPS genre is seeing this renaissance of old school style shooters, there's never been a better time to try it out. And I mean, at the end of the day, what else are you going to play, bitch? Bitch.